What's going on guys, it's Anime, and in today's video, I'm going to be teaching you how to lower your input delay in Fortnite. If that sounds interesting, stick around, drop a like on the video, sub to the channel if you are new, and use Korean Anime in the Fortnite item shop. Let's get into it. Alright, so first thing we're going to do, since we're already in Fortnite, we're going to go to our settings, opening them up, look at our graphic quality settings, and we're going to take all of them and lower them down to either near, off, or low. Alright, what this is going to do is, for one, it's going to give you an FPS boost. And secondly, it's going to increase your system responsiveness. So now we're going to scroll down in our settings page until we see rendering mode, all right? So usually I would say to use performance mode always, man. Performance mode will help you get the lowest input delay when it comes to playing Fortnite. But recently, they made it to where your builds look like iOS mobile builds. And I know it's very hard to play like that, especially when they fully built because you cannot see through them. So, what I recommend now, until they either change it or fix it or whatever, what I recommend now is change it to DirectX 11. I'm going to show you a setting after that, and this later on in the video, how we can improve with DirectX 11. But for now, yeah, use DirectX 11, all right? So we're going to scroll down one more time in our settings page until we see NVIDIA Reflex Low Latency. So we're going to change this to On Plus Boost. So what this is going to do is it's going to make your graphics card work a little bit harder rather than your CPU carrying the game for the most part. And another thing you can even add to your NVIDIA low latency setting is we can scroll up here until we see textures. We can change them from low to medium to even high because when you have high textures, your graphics card is working harder to improve those textures on your game. When it's doing that, the NVIDIA low latency on plus boost will also kick in for me personally, I have an NVIDIA 3080. What I found is that when they're on high, my game feels a little bit less responsive. But some people have said that it works better when it's on high or medium, sometimes even epic. But for me personally, I like them better on low. You can experiment for yourself, see what you prefer better. But that is everything we need to do in the game, guys. We can here click apply, back, and we can exit out of our game. All right, I told you guys that will give you an extra setting if you decide to use DirectX 11. Now, unfortunately, I am pretty sure that this setting only works for DirectX 11. It might even make your game worse if you use it for another rendering mode besides DirectX 11. Anyways, you're gonna wanna go to wherever you have your Fortnite games installed. For me, it's in my E drive. We're gonna wanna go find it. We're gonna wanna find it to where it's installed. Click on Epic Games, Fortnite, Fortnite Game, Binaries, Win64. And we're gonna wanna scroll down here until we see the little Fortnite icons. You're going to want to find the application that says Fortnite Client Win64 Shipping. We're going to want to right click on it. Go down click on Properties. Compatibility. Let me drag it up here so y'all can see it. And right here where it says Disable Full Screen Optimizations. All right. We're going to want to check mark that man. All right. We're going to want to disable our full screen optimizations. This only works if you use DirectX 11. All right. So once we check that, we can press OK. We're done with that. So now that we're at our desktop, we're going to press our Windows key and R at the same time to open up our run. We're then going to type in REG edit with no spaces. Type that in. Click OK. You should get this little pop up that says registry editor. We're going to click yes. And once it opens up, this is what it's going to look like. From here, we're going to double click on H key local machine. We're then going to double click on system. Double click on current control set and then double click on services. So now that we double clicked on services, all the folders beneath it are going to be in alphabetical order. We're going to want to scroll down here until we get to the M's, H I J K L M. All right. So once we're in the M's, you're going to want to find a folder called M O U class, which is right here. We're going to want to double click it and then double click on the folder beneath it called parameters. Now, for some reason, some computers won't come with this folder. What you can do to add it is on MOU class, we're going to want to right click on that folder, click new, then click key. And once you click on key, you can name that new folder parameters. And there you go. So now that we're in parameters, we're going to want to go find the icon that says mouse data queue size. Once again, if you don't have this, right click, click new, and then click on D word 30 bit value. We're going to click on that. And then we're going to rename the new thing that popped up, mouse data queue size, and there you go. So after you've done that, we're going to want to double click on mouse data queue size. You're going to get met with this window right here. We're going to want to click on decimal and this number right here where it says value data. This is going to solely depend on your PC and your hardware. So the base value for the majority of mouses, if not every mouse, I'm pretty sure is 100. That's going to be probably your base value right now that you're looking at. So what this number is essentially is 
how responsive your PC is to your mouse. In basic terms, the higher the number is, the slower your PC is gonna take to register your mouse. The lower the number is, the faster your PC is gonna register your mouse. So obviously with that information that I just presented to you, it would be a no brainer to just turn this number to zero, but that's where your PC hardware comes in. So the more you lower this number right here, the more effort your hardware is gonna put in. And in some cases, if your PC hardware is not that good, or even in my case, if I have a great PC, if I lower it too much, it's not gonna register my mouse at all. It's gonna miss clicks. My mouse is gonna sometimes just teleport across the screen because it doesn't register. So what I recommend for this is first change your value data to 50. And from there, oh, that's 59, that's 58. There we go, I actually typed in the right number 50 this time. So what I recommend doing to test this out is go into Fortnite Creative, is practice building, practicing, especially flicking around your mouse a lot. If you notice that sometimes your clicks aren't registering or anything is just like, it doesn't seem right with your mouse, just keep raising the number until you find a comfortable number that you are good with. So we're done with our mouse settings. We can close out of mouse class and we're gonna wanna scroll up until we see the Ks, which are right here. And just like you thought, Ks is for keyboard. We're gonna wanna find KBD class. We're gonna wanna double click it, double click on parameters. And once again, you don't have the parameters folder for some reason, right click, new, new key value, type in parameters, there you go. So double click on parameters, keyboard data queue size. Everyone should have this one, but if not, make a new one, just like I showed you in the earlier steps of the video. We're gonna wanna double click on this. We're gonna wanna click on decimal. And for this one, for your value data, this one, this number should be able to go lower than your mouse settings, but if not, the base value is 100, that's what you start out with. For me, I found that my value was able to go down to 25 without any misclicks or non-registry clicks or whatever. So, once again, test it out, find what works best for you and for your hardware. For me, it was 25, that's it, okay, and we're done with registry editor, and the great thing about this is... You can change this and you don't have to restart your PC, which is awesome. So you can just test things out in creative and you don't have to restart anything. So now that we're at our desktop again, you're going to want to download the file that I left linked for you down below in the description. It should download a RAR file called ISLC and you're going to need WinRAR to extract this file. All right. If you don't have WinRAR, you should go download it. It's, it's a great program. It's pretty much essential for downloading a lot of things on the internet nowadays, especially for PC optimizations. But you can go on Google, type in WinRAR. It's a free download. You should really have this program. Once you've downloaded it, you're going to want to drag it to your desktop. We're going to right click on it, click extract here, and you should get met with a folder that has the exact same name as it. So once you've done that, we're going to want to double click on the folder and it should pop up just like this right here. And we're gonna wanna click on the program that says Intelligent Standby List Cleaner. We're gonna wanna double click on that. You can get me up with this right here. We're gonna wanna click yes. So once you open it, it might not pop up right away. What you're gonna do is you're gonna wanna scroll down to the bottom right to where it shows your icons right here. You wanna click on this little arrow right here to show more of it, and it should be in here. You wanna double click on it, and it's gonna open just like that. So once we open it up, the first thing that we're gonna wanna do is come down here to where it says Free Memory is Lower Than. And this number right here is going to solely equate to how much RAM you have in your PC. So me personally, I have 32 gigabytes of RAM, which can equate to 32,000 megabytes. So we're going to want to take that 32,000 megabytes and we're going to want to cut it in half to 16,000. So if you have 16 gigabytes of RAM, that should equal to 16,000 megabytes. So you're going to want to take that number and half it, you'll get 8,000. If you have eight gigabytes of RAM, that's going to equal 8,000 megabytes. You're going to want to half that and so on, all right? So we're going to want to put that number in here. So once you're done with that, we're going to want to come over here to the Enable Custom Timer Resolution. You're going to want to have this checked. And from here, you're going to want to have your Wanted Timer Resolution to 0 0.50. And let me tell you right now, guys, this thing right here, your timer resolution is going to be a huge game changer for you if you're playing Fortnite. I know it was for me, but it's gonna be the same for you, all right? Now that we've done that, we're gonna wanna change our ISLC polling rates to 500, and we're gonna wanna click Purge Standby List, and lastly, we're gonna wanna click on Start, and there you go. By the way, guys, one thing that I forgot to add is in order for all this to work, you're gonna have to open this program up every single time that you load up your PC. In order to make it a little bit easier on y'all, you're gonna wanna double click right here, or not double click, you're gonna wanna check mark both these settings right here. 
So it launches the moment your PC turns on. Makes it a lot easier than having to remember to turn it on every single time, all right? So now that we're done with that, we can minimize this. You do not want to exit out of this thing, all right? Never exit out of this thing, only minimize it so it's always working in the background of your PC. You can exit out of this folder, and just like that, we're done, guys. Those are some of the things that you can do to your PC to lower the input delay for Fortnite. Hope you guys did enjoy this video. If you did, drop a like. If this video helped you at all in any way, please be sure to let me know down in the comments, man. It helps me feel good knowing that I helped y'all. Also, if you're new to the channel, subscribe, man. We're trying to get 100,000 subscribers by the end of 2021. It would be greatly appreciated. But with that being said, guys, really the video's make over. Your life, man. Peace out. I'm gonna say no words, they know that I rock. Put on the two and no, yeah, keep that on lock. Your girl in my DMs, yeah, shooting a shot. I got a thousand plus, asking when I drop. Got an extended clip with the beam. Boss my damage dripping, shall I get